Um, we mentioned a lot of things that Norway is doing well. Uh, you've got good access to health care because of the universal health coverage, which is funded by general taxes and by payroll contributions, and the enrollment is automatic, so access doesn't seem to be a problem. But what is a problem? What, what do people uh, usually complain about when it comes to health care? <laughs> what do we complain about? Yeah, well, well I am... No, I think it's uh, there. There are some areas where um, it can be hard to to get a good follow up. Um, there is uh, a lot of discussion on um, new treatment, which is not uh, implemented in the Norwegian system. And then you see that some people who have a lot of money or loan a lot of money uh, bring their peers to the United States or other countries to get treatments we don't have here. So there's a big discussion on, because, you know, if you do everything um, together uh, from, from a state uh, organization, it's not so easy to innovate. It's not so easy to take in new things. So in some countries, you can much quicker get access to new uh, treatments than in Norway, because it's, it's a slow system. And there, I think, there is a lot of discussion. And... And how long can we manage to have a, a mutual system which is trust-based and also based on equality? Uh, and, and then if some people move out and go to other countries to get a better treatment and they come back and they say, well, there they have managed to treat me, but here in Norway they can't. And we have seen some examples and there have been much attention. They got much attention in the media. So there is there's really a lot of discussion about uh, because it's not just threatening the healthcare system but it's also threatening the societal values we have in Norway on uh, equality and and it's very hard uh, um, questions also because some treatments are very expensive and then the, the, the state says no we don't we don't supply this uh, treatment when you're over 70 or over 80 or if you do, and, and then there's always somebody who is falling out, and that that's makes a lot of, uh, th and then there's a lot of writing about this kind of thing. So, so I think that's one of the main and the most difficult problems when we get personalized medicine, we've got new treatment, you know, you see cancer got from one disease to now it's several hundred diseases. So who is going to get which treatment and which uh, medicine? And if it's very expensive, are we going to use that on a few cases? Are we going to use the money somewhere else? 